Okay, this is Brian Young, and I'm going to do an in-depth demonstration of the digital system for new customers and customers have had it. I just want to do a little bit uh, slower paced. This right here is called the Quick Demo, which I'm going to be pushing at retailers. Basically, it's just the pit area with the end tracks. Uh, basically, they're kind of like start tracks, and it's about five feet long by... Um, about a foot and a half wide. This is really all a retailer needs to demonstrate digital and I'm going to go through all the different features of the digital system. So the first thing, once you've got your um, pit box plugged in and you want to um, program a car, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your car and you're going to put it on the track. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to press the program a car button. Hold it in for three seconds. The word car flashes. We then pick up our hand throttle. We are going to push the back button right here. And watch what happens to the word car when I push the back button. It goes flatline. We then put the hand throttle down. We take the car off the track. We put it on the track. And we test first the lane switching to hear the switch mechanism. You hear that going? Then we drive it, it drives, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put it over here on our pit entry switch, see if we got a lane switch, and we have a lane switch. Your car is now programmed, now we're going to test to see if it's going to refuel, okay? So, uh, we've got to get off the dead spot. You hear that beep sound? I'm going to do that again, I want to make sure you hear the beep sound. You must hear the beep sound when, right there, listen. Okay, I went in too fast. If I that long beep sound is I went into the pit area too fast and I'm penalized, and I have to go around again. Okay, so we heard the beep sound. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press the back of the controller once to refuel the tank. You let go. The fuel indicator is flashing, which is good. We then push the throttle in, hold it in as we're filling, and you can see the tank filling up. The tank is filled up. We let go, we press the back of the hand throttle and the car then goes. Basically that is how to program your car and to uh, refuel the car. Okay, now let's say your car has headlights. You just push the headlight button and the headlight button will come on uh, and that means your car is ready to, uh, uh, to uh, have headlights. The car the lights will come on. Now let's say we want to do speed control. So here I'm going to lift this, I'm doing this one-handed, and you guys all know I do this, so I'm going to lift it up, that's full throttle, push the speed control button in, push the back of the hand throttle, it goes amber, it was green, let's show that again, I want to push the speed control button, push the back of the button, it's green, push the button in to go junior mode, and it goes amber, listen now, a little slower, and now the car uh, is in two speed modes, okay? Now, let's say you want to do um, a race. Uh, let's say you want to have unlimited fuel. So you're going to press the mode button once, hold it in, go one, two, three to race, press select one, capacity, 25 laps, 50 laps, 100 laps, 200 laps, 400 laps, and then whatever you set it at, it goes back to flat lines, and that means it's all ready to go. Now, let's say we want to do a race. We're going to do a race, so we're going to go, we're going to hold it in three seconds. Up, that means you're going to go from one to 100 laps. We're going to count down. Hold the uh, select button in as many times as you want, so 12 laps. Press the mode button again, hold it in. Flat line, I keep holding in too long. Okay, then we're going to press the, pro, uh, the race. The race now has started. Now watch what happens when the car goes over the number 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3, 2. Now whoever's the winner, his... Speed is what's going to flash on here, okay? See? 
That's the winner, number car number two. And that's the built-in lap counter, okay? Some key things to remember. If your car, when your car pulls into the pit and you don't hear the beep and the other cars do beep, you need a new chip, a new computer chip. You need a new computer chip, okay? So uh, just, uh, you know, uh, send us an email and we'll send you a new uh, computer chip. Um, and um, that's basically about it on the programming. Let's go over it real quick one more time to program a car. We're going to move the hand throttle over to port number three. We're going to unplug it here. Let's reset it all. Okay. Okay, all green lights. Uh, we got the fuel in case. So now, right now, we have no power. So we're going to press the program car button for three seconds. The word car is up. Grab the hand throttle. Press the back of the button. Flat line, which is great. Take the car off the track, put it on the track, which initializes the computer program. And boom, she's off like a herd of turtles. And that is the SCX Digital Demo. The refueling is really sweet. And also all the different features that are built into the pit box. Okay. Um, that's it. Have a nice day.